go sneeze. I gotta sneeze. Come on, sneeze. All right, now that I've gotten the sneeze out of the way, what's up everybody? Thank you for tuning into today's video. Um, in today's video, it's just gonna be kind of a chill video today. Um, I got a lot of things to talk about and uh, things I wanna do, uh, things I wanna say, so we're gonna just hop right into the video. In this video, right now I'm going to Big Hometown Motorsports to get a couple screws uh, for the Rebel because I had one fall out of the uh, little plastic cover that's uh i'll show you guys here in just a second let me stop yep so the cover right here this plastic cover yep that one but yeah that plastic cover i ended up uh losing one of the screws on my ride to uh go meet up with gus so basically what i did was just pull over and uh tighten the one up and then we'll just wait and uh, i'll go get some screws i had another screw in the meantime that i could put in there like another bolt so i just did that and uh, that ended up working pretty good. But I also got to replace the two that are on the uh, rear fender as well. Um, just the washer and everything, because uh, when I took off my uh, rack that I have, the T-Rex rack that I have uh, when I was cleaning it, um, I took it for a ride without that, and uh, I lost some of the washers. So also got to pick up some of that. So that's what we're heading to right now. But what I wanted to do in this video was kind of talk to you guys about a little bit of uh, the upgrades I want to do to my bike during this winter. So on my community page on my uh, YouTube channel, if you go there, you can actually uh, vote. And if you actually vote for uh, what kind of videos you guys would like to see, uh, I have a couple different uh, options there. I have moto vlogs. I have uh, I have installs. Yeah, what up, dude? On my community page, you can actually go there and vote for what kind of videos you would like to see this uh, this winter. Um, I do a lot of different things just in general. So, so I have your typical moto vlogs. I have uh, install videos on you know the Kaufman Sunder exhaust, a couple different things that I've done uh, to my bike itself. Um, so there's that. Then there's also shows that I do. So I'm a musician as well. So if you guys want to see uh, some shows, you know, let me know and uh, I'll start vlogging those as well. But uh, if you're just here for the videos and you, uh, you just appreciate everything that I do, then uh, just vote for the other one, which is pretty much just here for the cool videos. But that way it would actually help me figure out what you guys actually want to see and uh, you can have a say in it. But with that being said, I do have a couple things that I actually wanna do to my bike. Uh, one thing is, is I want to, uh, I wanna put some uh, new foot pegs on it. So I want to put the uh, I want to put the Burley brand uh, foot pegs on there because it uh, it's a little bit wider, a little bit uh, more surface area for my foot to actually for my foot to actually stay on. But I wanted to put some new foot pegs on there. I might actually put some uh, foot peg extenders, uh, so something to kind of get it out uh, just a little bit away from me. Uh, I am a taller rider, so I'm about 5'11", so if I could get my feet out just a tiny bit. That would help me a lot. I want to put some crash bars on here as well. And uh, what the heck is going on up here? What is going on? There's a carnival going down? There's a carnival going on downtown. All right, cool. <laughs> I didn't even see this. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, anyway, but I would like to put some uh, crash bars on this bike as well. Um, just so I can end up putting on some... Uh, some highway pegs and maybe some uh, some lights, some like fog lights or something like that. But I want to end up putting the uh, the fog lights on there just to kind of give me a little bit more visibility at night because I do uh, ride home late sometimes, just depending on what I'm doing. So I want to end up putting on some of those. And then uh, I've just been busy, you know, doing a lot of shows, which has been a ton of fun and uh, gets me back into playing guitar a lot more. And uh, I've really enjoyed that. Um, here soon, I'm actually gonna redo my whole uh, pedal board, which if you guys don't know what a pedal board is, I know I'm talking uh, guitar talk on a motorcycle channel, but uh, it's kind of what I do as well. So <laughs> a pedal board is just like uh, what guitar players will step on to actually have different sounds. But yeah, just different sounds for them to play with. So um, a lot of stuff that I do is praise and worship in uh, country. So I kind of go back and forth between doing those. So my board that I'm gonna be building will literally be pretty much everything that I need to do 
both sides of uh, both sides of things. But yeah, I've also had a lot of fun doing uh, some of these shows here recently. So uh, I'm gonna put up a clip right now so I can show you guys. Stomp. I've been having a lot of fun doing those and uh, if you guys want to see more show vlogs then let me know maybe in the comments or you know the best way is uh, going over to the community page and uh, vote on what you guys would like to see on the channel but other than that uh, I've also had uh, another court date um, scheduled out for um, defending my case against somebody stealing my bike which if you haven't seen that video I'll put it up in the top right right now but it was a uh, kind of a crazy event that happened and uh, I'm taking proper precautions now to make sure that it doesn't get stolen and uh, and yeah it's it's been it's been good I uh, I've been having a hard time sleeping it feels like because I keep waking up and like looking out the window and making sure nobody's stolen my bike um, and uh, that kind of sucks that I can't sleep now because <laughs> I'm making sure that nobody's going to steal it. Oh, storage unit. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to say, uh, I know this is kind of all over the place, but um, I did want to end up getting a storage unit for the winter months. And uh, I might actually do that here soon just to have a place to do some of these install videos that I have planned. And I'll have another place to put uh, Jesse's bike as well, so make sure that his doesn't get stolen. And just split the cost between me and him and maybe one other person just to make that, you know, uh, not that much money. I mean, they're not that much money, but still a month, like if it's like 60 bucks a month, you know, that's still money. So I wanna make sure that the bike is safe and I have a safe place to do all that stuff at. Um, maybe keep some tools there just to do general maintenance on my bike. That's one thing. And then uh, another thing that I kind of want to do is I kind of want to put bar risers on the on the Rebel 1100. Um, if I could actually have them like right here, that would be sweet. So I'm guessing like maybe the four inch risers will will do pretty well with that. We're probably going to do that because I am slouched over a little bit. It's not much, but it is it is quite a little bit. So. I'm probably gonna end up putting them like right here right in that general area so and then if I put the foot peg extenders it'll just make my body kind of I could be able to lean back and uh, have my hands up a little bit just so it's a more comfortable relaxing uh, riding position so it's not it's not so bad not that it's bad now it just uh, over long distance trips you can you can start to feel a little bit of stuff but like, you, you know, your back hurt, your legs hurt, which I think that's what the highway, highway pigs will uh, end up doing. You know, if I could, I'll put it like that. That'd be, that'd be super dope. And then the uh, other uh, mod that I want to do on the bike is I actually want to get the, I can't even pronounce it, the Gustafin, whatever you want to call it. I want to get the taller windscreen. So uh, this, uh, this wind doesn't hit me as hard as uh, hit me right now. Because just with how this windscreen is, I've, uh, I've tested this before, but if I hunker down just like right there, like the wind isn't hitting me. Like I have the wind coming up from underneath me, but the wind that's hitting off this windscreen can be, can be kind of harsh. And when you have a camera going, uh, you gotta make sure that you're getting good audio in there. It's not that I've had an issue with getting good audio, like, it's just if I'm going higher speeds like this, I'm I, like up right now I'm going 55 and I could tell that, you know, there's just a lot of wind noise and I do some EQing and in, uh, in uh, post-production of the videos to like kind of crisping up the voice, but then kind of take take away some of the some of the wind noise. So so it's not so ridiculous. And uh, I've noticed that the uh, chin mount that I have um, with the uh, with the GoPro itself, it feels like it's kind of it's kind of moving a little bit like I can look at the camera right now and uh, I can tell that just the uh, just it's moving a lot like and not 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 a ton but enough to bother me the to, to think that you know it'll fall off which I've had my camera fall off before it, it was because I pushed the uh, push the release mechanism for <laughs> the GoPro itself and I 
the only way that it stayed up was uh because i ended up catching it but not only that the wire from my microphone ended up holding onto the gopro itself and uh i was able to pull over safely and fix that ah ah <laughs> had a there's a leaf right there yeah it's getting colder but it still feels so nice out i mean it's like 70 degrees right now so it still feels really really nice out another thing that's been uh super cool that i've noticed here recently um if you guys have a cardo uh pack talk or anything like that and i know slight uh actually has a video on uh getting your uh cardo into your uh into your gopro and i know i've seen a couple videos like that and i kind of want to do that so when i do group rides and everything i can you can hear the other riders and uh they just came out with an update and I kind of want to test it out. And if, if you guys uh, have a Cardo and you want to see how that actually works, um, let me know because I'll, I'll, t I'll end up testing that out for you guys because basically you're able to record the conversations on your Cardo from your, from your phone. So you're able to hear the other riders and then you can just sync it up later. And yeah, I mean, that would be a pretty easy like way to get the audio in there. But not only that, if I didn't want to have the microphone that I have in my, uh, that the wire that goes into my GoPro itself, if I didn't want to have that, I didn't have to. I could just hit record here and just sync up the audio later, like do a clap test. And uh, yeah, I could do something like that and it would be really easy. I did see a video on somebody actually trying it out and it seems pretty good, but for me, I like having the microphone as well. So maybe what I'll end up doing for my videos is I'll end up recording the conversations syncing it up but having the you know the microphone still plug into my gopro so i'm capturing good audio the wind noise isn't you know terrible because i'll probably end up just using the audio for me from that microphone and then the conversations that are recorded i'll just put up uh put in the uh video itself and then just boost it however much i need to to kind of compensate for having that in there Man, that Kaufman's thunder exhaust just sounds so good. So we're going across the bridge right now, going into Marietta. I mean, just look at this. Got the barge going down. Cause we're from West Virginia, boys. Woo woo! But yeah, it just looks so great today. Just the scenery is awesome. The weather is great. It's been a great day so far. Uh, I ended up actually mowing my lawn because i had some more time and you don't have to mow it as much when it gets it starts getting colder so um i ended up mowing the lawn and making it look all nice and i don't want to hear a word about my white chicken legs i know they're white i wear jeans literally all the time always every day the only time i wear shorts is when i'm at home or uh or mowing the lawn or what whatnot so i don't want to hear a word about my chicken my white chicken legs that thunder exhaust thunder ah. I'm getting a phone call it's from my girlfriend sorry babe I can't answer it. I don't have my cardo on she's gonna watch this video and be like why didn't you turn it on she's still calling me I think it's her don't do what I do there she is hello I had my phone in my uh, in my pocket and I felt it vibrating, so I put it uh, I put it up on the uh, the mount and I was like, oh, she tried to call me. So, and I'm filming a video, so you're on the video right now. Yeah, you better wave. There you go. See, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Can I get my phone on the quad block? Oh, Jeez. All right. So we are leaving big hometown right now um so i ordered some bolts that i needed for uh that piece right here which i have one in there right now so it's okay um uh, but then i also have some washers for the rear fender that i was going to pick up um they only have one of the washers i thought i told him to order two but that could have been me and then uh the bolt was the wrong bolt so um made sure that we had the right one this time and uh yeah so now woo, we are going to get some overpriced uh strawberry lemonade and can you guess where we are gonna go grab that from 
It starts with a S and ends with Tarbucks. Uh, they have a, a strawberry lemonade there that I absolutely freaking love. Um, it's like $5 for the large, but oh, it's so good. I'm not a coffee drinker, and uh, I, know, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys probably will hate me for that, but man, I, uh, I love the smell of coffee, but I cannot do the taste. Like, it's, I can't do it. I just can't do it. If it don't taste good, I'm, I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm not going to drink that. I just got to remember where it's at. I passed it on the way in. There's that. Oh, there it is. Starbuckies. Drive through. We don't want the drive through. We're going in. It's gonna be hard to pick up Starbucks on a on a bike. Yeah, we're gonna go in and get some Starbucks. Let's go. All right. Well, we just finished our uh, strawberry lemonade, and it was so fantastic. I drank it way too fast, but it's uh, it's all good. I needed to get back on the road anyway, so uh, there's a gas station right there. So I think I'm gonna fill up right there and head back home. But if you like this video, please let me know by liking it down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out more than you know. And also, don't forget to uh, vote on the community page of my channel to let me know what videos you want to see. And with all that being said, I will catch you guys in my next ride. Peace.